Alrighty, good afternoon, Minor League Baseball fans. Welcome to Minor League Baseball, the show. Today is our third and final game of this three-game set between the visiting Tulsa Drillers and your San Antonio Missions. Well, we have lost the first two games of this three-game set. And by far of choice, the San Antonio Missions could win the finale of the three-game series. Well, tomorrow the visiting Midland Rockhounds come in for a four-game set. After that, we have the visiting. We go out of town for a three-game set with Springfield. And most likely, we are good to go. Go online now and purchase and print your tickets from home. Also, follow the missions all season long with the first pitch app from Minor League Baseball. And download that on any smartphone. Well, stay tuned. We got more on the way as the San Antonio Missions prepare their new game with the Tulsa Drillers. We'll be right back on the show. All right, everybody, we are back with Minor League Baseball, the show, and this presentation of Missions Baseball. And most likely, we are going to step away for another 15 seconds for station identification. We're good to go. You're listening to Missions Baseball, the voice of San Antonio. And now let's uh, get on to our starting lineups. First, Valera as center. Batting second is the third baseman, Lee Hu. Hu at third. Batting third in first base, Oswaldo Alvarado. Alvarado at first. Kyle Saul will be the right fielder. He'll be batting fourth for Tulsa. Saul at right. Kyle Farmer will be the catcher. He'll have the catching duties for the driller lineup. Farmer at catching. Batting six is the left fielder, Edwin Crow. Crow at left. Batting second is the second baseman for Scott. Warden, he'll be batting seventh. And shortstop Julio Venezuela will round out the batting order for the Drillers this evening. And on the mound for the Tulsa Drillers, Josh Guzman. Guzman, tonight's Drillers pitcher. And now, here's the starting lineup for your San Antonio Missions. Leading off and playing in shortstop, Steve Chavez. Chavez as short. Batting second is second baseman, Boone Devine. Devine as second. Christian Venezuela will be batting third for San Antonio. Venezuela at third. Carmen Zapata will be the center fielder. He'll bat fourth for San Antonio. Batting fifth is the first baseman, Leroy Ochoa. Ochoa at first. Batting sixth is the left fielder, Alan Cordoba. Cordoba at left. Batting seventh is the catcher, Maniel Rincon. Rincon catching. And batting eighth, rounding out the batting order for San Antonio, is the right fielder, Brian Valdez. Chavez, Devine, Venezuela, 
will you be your first lead on three. Zapata, Ocha, and Cordoba will be your middle three. Ryan Cohn and Valdez round out the batting order for the mission tonight. And on the mound for San Antonio, Hank Schneider. Schneider, tonight's missions pitcher. And there is your starting lineups. Future stars are on display as minor league baseball comes your way on the show. Should be a good one here this afternoon between the Tulsa Drillers and the San Antonio Missions. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Hank Schneider will be on the mound for the away team in this one. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey. You don't see a lot of guys that have five pitches, right? Sometimes it's hard to master even two or three. But if you can master five like he has, he'll be in pretty good shape. Now in the box, Henry Morella. He will lead this one off today. Here comes the first pitch. Underway at the ballpark this afternoon as the first pitch is in there for strike one. Slow roller back to the mound. And there's one away. Time now to give you a look at the batting order for the visiting squad. Mark DeRosa, what's your take on him this afternoon on the road? Well, Matty, if I could tell this lineup one thing, it would be let's get on this guy early. Day game in this ballpark. The sun starts glaring, starts getting later in the day. Those shadows start creeping in right around the time that bullpen starts getting warmed up got to find a way to scratch a few across early now batting Lee who he'll get to take his first cuts here he's ready here's the first offering looking at a fastball for a strike on the corner one out nobody on this is hit high in the air out toward left center Porta was under it he hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Digging in the switch hitter, Oswaldo Alvarado, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Strike one to start the at-bat. Bases are empty here with two men out. at a big breaking ball and that's how the inning comes to an end nothing doing here in the opening half inning so it's on to the bottom of inning number one no score Josh Guzman the right-handed native of the Dominican Republic will be the starter Dan please what's the word on him hey this guy has a four pitch repertoire right and those are a lot of nice options to have you can go hard soft you can go in and out and anytime you have four pitches if you can throw them for strikes you have the big advantage first pitch coming here it is high in the air out to center field Barella has a read on it makes the play one away a chance now to take a look at how the home team lines up in this one what's going to be the key for him today Mark well, Matty, you take a look at this lineup filled with young bloods, just young guys, hungry, aggressive, trying to do damage and move traffic to both gaps. Line to line power up and down this lineup. Should be interesting to see if this pitcher uses their aggressiveness against them. Digging in now, Boone Devine. He's set and the pitch. A bouncer up the middle. Into center field as he's aboard with a one out single. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, that kept his good. hands inside the baseball, and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes, even when you make a good pitch, the ball is going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. 
stepping in now, Christian Villanueva. As he'll go after the first pitch and promptly line one into left center field, and that's going to get down for a base hit. And they'll have runners at the corners following the one out single. Batting fourth, center fielder, Carmen. Zapata. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Carmen Zapata. And they're runners at the corners now. First pitch of the at bat. Hit on the ground toward the left. And that is through into left field, the base hit. And they're going to take a 1 0 lead as the run comes across to score. Boy, that has to feel good as a hitter, D. Roy. Get that base hit to give your team the lead. You have to feel good when you get down to first base. Yeah, it's just a nice approach. You see him turn to his boys right there and get fired up with the dugout. 100%, not trying to do too much, able to quiet the moment down, center himself, and come through in a big spot. Heading out towards shallow right, and that's going to fall for a base hit. And a good throw is going to hold that runner at third, so they're loaded now with only one away. Boy, that wasn't a very good pitch there, up and away. That breaking ball, he will, that slider intended to be down and away. Instead, it was up and away. Yeah, that was definitely in this spot right there, Dan. You saw the batter's eyes light up, and he didn't miss it. Alan Cordoba hits next. He hits it hard on the ground to the left. Scooped up to second for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. Don't touch that dial or the remote for that matter. More on the show right after this. So here's the cleanup hitter, Kyle Saul. He'll get us started in the top of the second. And that's cut on and missed 0-1. stuff on the corner and he's got him 0 and 2 now into the windup here comes the 0 2 pitch skied in the air to straightaway left Porta was under it and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning okay here's the defense for the home team and be on the lookout today because the best arm in the outfield resides in left field usually not the norm but you better not test this guy. Not sorry, only does he have a strong arm, very, very accurate as well. And a fastball just a bit high. Well, 2-0 and now, and this is where he makes his money. If he gets a pitch to hack at, you can bet he's not going to hold back. Turned on down the line, and that gets through for a one-out base hit. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Man, I love this. Right down the line. You can now Edwin Pro. As he'll take strike one on the inside corner. Behind Owen two now. This is line. And that'll get by and on through towards the wall. Farmer rounds the corner and is headed home. He'll score easily. We're all that will drive a pitching coach crazy. He has the hitter down 0-2 in the count, and instead of making him chase it something off the plate, he grooves one that's driven down the line for a run scoring double. Have to make better pitches on an 0-2 count. One ball, one strike to count. Swing and a liner. But quick hands over there at third as he takes it for the second out. Coming to the plate now, Julio Valenzuela. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike, nothing in one. That pitch up in the zone called the strike, and that's a tough pitch for a batter to hit, though, that fastball that's high in the zone. Pro at second with two down. Now a 58-foot curveball that misses for a ball. This is a huge at-bat right here. He wants to get this guy. Threw it right past him. A swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. But a run will score in the end. Manuel Rincon.
ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Sent on the ground out to second. Warden scoops it up, throws in time, and that's out number one. All right, here's how the visitors are lining up today. You want to talk about shutting a running game down? The guy behind the dish has an absolute cannon. I mean, you will not see guys get but two-step lead off first base today. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And that's the second out. Adding nine. Edgar. Hank Schneider. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Hank Schneider. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Takes this the other way to right. Saul is there, and it's a three-pitch inning as this side is retired. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Josh Guzman. Nine, one, and two do up. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0 oh and 1. Popped him up. Ochoa moving to his left. And that's the first out of the inning. How about it? The center field. Henry Striding Varela. in once again, Henry Varela. 0 for 1 here in the early going. There's a fastball right over the inside corner. Bases are empty, one man out. Zero. A wave and a miss, a tick behind a good fastball. Two mid-90s fastballs right there that he doesn't seem to think he can catch up to. I wouldn't be shocked if he came right at him again with another good one. Hit down the line at first. And that's through for a base hit. Make him one for two in this one. And he'll reach second now with one away. Check that out right there. I love me some of that. Staying inside the baseball, moving it the other way. Sometimes the pitcher can execute his pitch. It doesn't mean the batter can't grab enough. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And he misses with it one and one. Clearly staying away from him in this at bat with that runner in scoring position tells me they're trying to force him to reach for something and maybe roll over on it. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Just hung in there on that one. One two pitch is a curveball that misses two and two. Here now the two two. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Divine is there for it, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Ready for another chance, Oswaldo Alvarado. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Late that time for a strike. The 0-1 pitch. Pitch inside the throw. Behind the runner to second. Varela at third with two away. A ball and two strikes now. Batter's going to have to find a way to regroup right there. That caught too much of the plate. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. At the plate, Steve Chavez. He flew out in his last at bat. First pitch coming. Here it is. Sliced hard down the left field line. And that'll get down for what should be extra bases. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. When you heard the crack of the bat, you just knew that was going to get down for an extra base hit. Great way to start an inning, that's for sure. Into the box now. Boone Devine. Lying to the right side. And that's through into right field for a base hit. The relay. Poor base running there. Got him caught the hot box between first and second. And it's in time to get him. But they do grab the lead on the run that scored away from the play. 
Digging in to try it again. Christian Villanueva. He singled his last time up. First pitch on its way. Back up the middle. That gets through when he'll reach base again on his second base hit of the game. I mean, there's no seeker right now. There's a fight at the bat rack. Everybody wants up at the plate right now. They're feeling frisky. They're all pulling the trigger early, and it's working. Standing in now, Carmen Zapata. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. Varela is there. And he makes the catch for the second out. Now he'll throw back to first. On to first, the double play. What the hell? So one run on three hits, no errors, and no one left on base. On now to the top of inning number four. The missions lead it two to one. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Kyle Saul flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. And boy, a high strike called there. That's not all that consistent, but it's strike one. A fastball that he's way out in front of, a swing and a miss. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. That's a pretty good pitch right there. That fastball on the inner half of the plate. You can see that he just isn't able to get those arms extended and pretty ugly swing right there. A cold strike on the inside corner. The hitter in this situation has to understand that this pitcher is on the attack, looking for a quick inning. If there's something in the heart of the plate, you better pull the trigger on it. Grounder down the line at third. But a foul ball, one and two now. Takes this the other way to right. And that's in for a base hit, his second in his many trips to the plate. Nothing fires me up more than watching an offensive player stay inside a baseball and drive it the other way. Into the box, Edwin Pro, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. The 0 1. Crowds him a bit with a fastball there, and it's to 1 and 1. Farmer leads off first with one away. Fastball not close, and he runs it to two balls and a strike. Seems to me like they're pitching him a little bit more cautiously after that double he had his first time up. Base head, line drive into the corner. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one-out double. And he's going to score with ease as the throw will be too late. Digging in for his second at-bat, Scott Warden. And that's taken for strike one. This is a situation where the offensive player just needs to do his job. Take inventory, infield back, get you a ground ball somewhere in the infield, preferably off the corners, and get your team a lead. Divine backs up and takes care of it. Two away. Digging in. Julio Valenzuela. Ball one. A man on third with two down. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Looking at strike two. A fastball that catches the inside corner. He's looking pretty passive here, hitting with a chance to drive in a run. Going to have to make something happen with two strikes now. Another 1-2 delivery. That one misses, and I think a ballpark full of umpires disagrees. It's 2-2. Two and two. The 2-2. Two -two. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. And they take the lead. It's gone. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left as they take the lead. It's now four to two. In now, Josh Guzman. This is just one of those parts where the ball seems to jump off the bat a lot more during the day. This is the first one of the day, but we might see a few more before this one's over. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Now this ball's hit deep to left field. Cordoba ranging back, and he makes.
makes a nice catch on the track as that ends the inning. But they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two-run home run. Bottom of the fourth coming up. Tulsa's out in front here, four to two. Leading off the inning, Leroy Ochoa, as they'll look inning. to get something going here and even this game up. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this will be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Into the box now, Alan Cordova. Cordova. Come set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Fly ball out toward left center field. Morella is there. And he makes the catch for the second out. How about it? Digging in the switch hitter, Manuel Rincon. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Pro has a read on it, and that ends the inning. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Henry Morella. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Owen won the count. Ball called for strike two. He's had to be sitting out over that outer half of the plate for him to take those first two pitches right there. Finds himself 0-2. I'll be surprised if the pitcher doesn't go right back to that spot. And a base hit. So early trouble to lead off the inning. And on the play, the runner moves into scoring position now at second. Well, back in the day, you would hope your leadoff man can work a walk or leg out an infield single, but not in today's game. Now they expect the leadoff hitter to have a little pop, just like this guy. Nice leadoff double. Cordova has him played perfectly as he puts it away for round number one. Digging in once again, Oswaldo Alvarado. Going to strike that victim twice in this one. And that's a fair ball as this one gets by him at third. He pulls into second safely as also on the play, a run comes across to score. He was not messing around in that at bat. Looking for a first pitch fastball all the way, and that's exactly what he got. Nice job to rip it down the line and drive in a run at the same time. He'll feel good about that one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. He goes the other way as this is hit in the air toward the gap in right center. And that gets down, and we'll see if that's extra bases. And the run is in to score from second. It's now 6-2. to two. That could prove to be a big run in this one, guys. Well, this triple brings in another run. If they don't stop the bleeding quick and start answering back, they're going to have a hill too steep to climb. Next up will be Kyle Farmer as he swings and grounds it toward the hole. Divine over to his left. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. Two runs already home, and now you can make it three. Good job right there of keeping it simple and putting the ball in play. First pitch on its way. Right over the middle, knee high. Three runs already home here. Hit in the air to center field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. So three runs on three hits, no errors, and no one left. Last half of the fifth coming up. The Drillers lead it 7-2. to two. So striding in, Brian Valdez. He got on top of one and was a ground-out victim last time. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. So you can mark that one down as an E5, and I bet he'd like to have that one over. George Aponte will come on to pinch hit now with a runner at first and nobody out. George Aponte. 
sent in the air out to straightaway central. Perella is right there, one down. Throw back to first, on to first, and they get the double play. What the heck? There's nobody there. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Steve Chavez, one for two with a double on the ledger so far. First pitch of the at-bat. Get to short. Throw on to first, and that error won't come back to haunt him after all as the inning is over. Woo, Tosa Drillers, you cheaters. on his way out toward the home plate area and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Miguel Diaz will come on and take over here and he'll hit in the leadoff spot following the double switch. Kyle Lloyd will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Number 63. Ready for another shot now. Scott Wharton. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Here's the first pitch to him. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. He's ready. Here's the 1-0. And he can't get out of the way there. So the leadoff man will be aboard to open up the inning. These guys are pros and they're tough, but I know that one hurt. He'll never show it, though. Too much pride at stake. Ready once again, Julio Valenzuela. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Ball one to start the at-bat. Snap throw to first. Not in time. Oh, come on, man. You never pitched before? Warden gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Too tight with that one. Three and oh. This would be an absolute terrible start to the inning. After drilling the first guy, you can't allow the second guy to reach base via the wall. Three and one the count now. Hit down the third baseline. And that finds its way through for a base hit. No, 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 no. Oh. They'll extend their lead here as the runner scores from first. It's an 8-2 game. Boy, this guy's having a great a game here so far, d -Row. Home run earlier in the night, and that base hit right there drives in his third run batted in of this game. Yeah, you drive to the park every day hoping your rhythm and timing is on point with that pitcher's windup. And that's exactly been the case today. He not only mixed in that big bomb, but now he's got three ribbies to boot. 2-0 now. Now the 2-0 is taken strike one. A runner in scoring position with none out. Ball three. Well, to me, it just looks like he's really aiming the ball a little bit right now. And it's funny, when you do that, you usually don't have as good a control as you do when you just let it go free and easy. And he misses here, ball four. And somehow he manages to walk his opposite number. Wow. Here comes the first pitch. And that one just missed outside. A great take on that slider away right there. 
but I'm thinking in that situation, that pitcher's got to execute a little bit better. That was almost a non-competitive pitch. Being outside, you could almost have let that one go right out of his hand. Three and oh now. You're going to cost us the game. And he lays off there, ball four. So back-to-back -back walks have him in business here with nobody out. Right. Settling in now, Lee Poole. As the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. Now time is called here as we'll get a trip to the mound. Julio Sanchez gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Ready. Here's the first offering. Hold high in the air out to right field. Moving under it, Valdez. He makes the catch. Here comes the runner from third. Notch one in the score column as the runner from third crosses the plate. Great work to do a job right there. He's not a big power bat, so he was looking to get a fly ball to the outfield and give this guy at third a chance. Swing and a ground ball to third. And the throw is not going to be in time as he's able to reach base safely. In there for strike one, 0 oh and 1. Getting that first pitch strike is really important when you're dealing with the bases loaded behind you. Good job to give himself the advantage there. Behind 0 oh and 2 now. Guzman at third, Perella at second, Alvarado at first, one gone. Popped him up. And no one can get there. He'll try it again. And on 0 2, he misses with a fastball. The 1 2. Hit hard up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. One run scores. And the second run will score as well. Boy, that's one of the beauties of speed. That trail runner right there, Dero. He's just too fast. They try to make a play at the plate, but they had no chance to get him because of his wheels. Yeah, you got to put that one in your pocket right there and stop the hitter from advancing to second base and getting in scoring position. There was no chance at the plate. A fastball that just misses inside. What a great opportunity to come through right here. 2-0 count, runners on base. Find something middle of the plate and let it rip. Well, this is hauled in by the second baseman. Now batter, left fielder, Edwin Crow. So digging in now, Edwin Crow. He's roped a couple of doubles in three. And he lays off there, 1-0. He's ready. Here's the 1-0. Takes a knee-high fastball. Looking at strike two, a fastball that catches the inside corner. One of my favorite pitches in the game right there, the old Greg Maddox equalizer. Started at the front hip and bring it back. Driven to deep right field. Valdez ranging back, but he can't get to this one. It's off the wall. And the runner will score from second. And not in time as the second run scores. Stepping in, Scott Wharton, runner in scoring position with Sugan. In there for strike one. Two outs here with a runner at third. To short. Lowe is up with it. 
throw on to first will finally retire him as the inning will draw to a close. All told, ten men come to the plate here. Six of them score. Two, three, and four do up in the home half of the sixth. Tulsa's out in front here, 13 to two. Oh, man. So coming to the plate, Boone Devine, already two for two. We'll look to add on right here. Boone Devine. First offering on its way. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Varela is there. One down. The batter. Third baseman. Stepping up to the plate, Christian Villanueva. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Line drive the left. Pro is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. He got that one pretty good. It just didn't have the right launch angle to carry over the outfielder's head. Small difference where the ball hit the bat could have made all the difference. Standing in now, Carmen Zapata. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He's one for two in this one. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Swing and a ball lifted in the air toward the line and right. And now this will get over the wall down the line out there for a ground rule double. Hey, this is what every hitting coach teaches when you start playing baseball. Don't try to do more than you can. Hit the ball where it's pitched, and he does a great job right there as he pushes it down the line nicely, and it bounces over for a ground rule double. Stepping in now, Leroy Ochoa, and he'll quickly send a line drive to center field. Morella is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Danger averted following the two-out double. On to the back third here this afternoon, and we've got it for you on the show. Back here for Texas League Baseball on the show. This one pretty much all over, but the shouting as we check our game summary to see how we've gotten to where we are. Digging in and looking for more, Julio Valenzuela. And he'll start the inning with a pitch that misses off the plate. It's ball one. There's a strike. The 1-1 one -one is in there for the second strike. The count is one and two. Down the third baseline. That gets through for a base hit. He's now three for four in this one. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. And he will make it all the way to third now as that mistake proves a costly one indeed. Ready for another shot now, Josh Guzman. And an opportunity here for a fourth plate appearance here this afternoon. And you have to say, he's really earned it. A lot of movement that time. It's 0-2. Here's the 0-2. Baseball got him looking as that had two seam action on it. One gone. Now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, Henry Varela. In there, 0-1. Here's the 0 1 pitch. This is lined to left. And he's able to reach down and put this one away. Great concentration there for the second out. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. Well, that wasn't your standard sack fly hit. It was hit pretty low and hard, so it wasn't a given they were going to send him. But they did, and they add a number to the run column. Ready for another chance. Lee Hu, 0 for 3 with an RBI in this one. A high fastball is in there. The 
Now time is called here as we'll get a trip to the mound. John Parker will get the ball here as he looks to get the final out in the top of the seventh. John Parker. Two out, nobody on. This one's down to third. And not too shabby out of the pen. Takes just two pitches to get the ground ball, and that ends the inning. So one run, one hit, no errors, and no one left on base. We'll move on now to the bottom half of the seventh. Get up and stretch. The Drillers lead it 14-2. to two. Alan Cordoba hits next. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. And that's through for his first base hit in this one. So that's how they'll start out their half of the seventh inning. How about it? Digging in to try it again. Manuel Rincon 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. First pitch of the at bat. Hit out towards second. There's one. On to first, and that's the very last thing they needed at this point in the ball game as there are quickly two away now. Ryan Valdez. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Brian Valdez. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Line towards center field. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. I know the score's out of hand right here, but I've never met a big league ball player that's going to give away an at bat in any game ever. Nice piece of hitting right there. Staying within yourself and grabbing you a knock. In now, Kyle Lloyd takes this the other way to right. And that's in there. Base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Dan, if they're going to crack through, this has got to be the opportunity they've been looking for right here. They've had a ton of hits, a ton of people on base, but no one has been able to come up with that big knock. Well, you know what, Dero? This pitch has kind of worked around trouble the entire time so far. Another inning brewing right here. Let's see if they can't get a big hit here right here and bust through in this one. James McGinnis will start to loosen up in the on-deck circle as he'll bat with two on and two out here. McGinnis. Line drive to left. And a dive, but it rattles in and out of the Go, 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 go! And not in time as the run oh, wow. scores. Dan, you know what? You like to see that from an offense. When you have a guy in scoring position, there's no sense in waiting around. He saw a pitch he liked right there, and he went after it. He, he did, d and I think that's what most hitters do. They come up with guys on base that they can potentially drive in. They're looking for a pitch to hit, and he didn't wait around and got that bad head started. Into the box now. Boone Devine as he grabs one briskly to short. Throw on to second for the force, and the side is retired. So it's one run on four hits here. No errors and a couple of men left. Eighth inning coming up. Tulsa's out in front here, 14 to three. James McGinnis enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. James McGinnis. Whoa.
ready once again. Oswaldo Alvarado. He'll lead things off as they look to perhaps build on an already sizable lead. No balls and a strike to count. A ball and a strike. The 1-1. Is swung on and missed for strike number two. The one two. Hit to third. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Here's Kyle Saul. In his last appearance, he singled home a pair of runs. First pitch on its way. Swinging on the first pitch as he hits this one on the ground to second. Throw gets him two He's down. down. Now batting. Kyle. Digging in once again, Kyle Farmer. He's doubled and singled in four at bats in this contest. Here's the first pitch to him. Mine to the right side. Valdez is there and he'll put it away to retire the side. Riding in once again, Christian Villanueva hit the ball pretty well in his last at-bat, but it resulted in a line-out. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Line drive to center field. That's in for a base hit. He's now three for four. So it's a leadoff base hit to open their half of the eight. Hey, Dero, not a bad night. Three singles, but hey, you'll take three for four every day of the week. Yeah, in today's day and age, Dan, where everything's a home or a walk or a strikeout, it's refreshing to see this guy throw out three base hits. Line drive base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Hey, guys, I like the execution by the batter there. He got a hanger in the middle of the plate. He could have come unglued, but he didn't. He stayed focused and drove a line drive base hit. Standing in now, Leroy Ochoa. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Saul racing back on the warning track. He makes the catch. And he'll move up to third now. Runners at the corners here with one away. Good read there at second, but the third on the flyout. Now he's only 90 feet away with one out. Alan Cordoba hits next. And he's got runners at the corner. Only one gun. First pitch of the there. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Four to six to three. They roll it up to get out of the jam. The three of us are back after this message and a word from our local stations. Trying to pick things up where we left off, Edwin Crow. He drove in two with a double in his last at bat. Strike one to start the at bat. Here comes the 0-2 pitch, and he fouls this one off. Ready with another 0-2. Stays alive, still 0-2. And it's fouled away. Hey, I'm biased to the hitter right now. Keep frustrating that pitcher. Foul 12 of these things off. He's going to miss over the heart of the plate at some point. Now the 0-2 pitch. Line drive to left. And that's another base hit for him. He's on a tear in this one. The ninth inning's underway with a leadoff man aboard via the single. You don't see that too often. You starting to get in swing mode and you start fouling off multiple pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag if he'll throw it. Nice job by the offensive player to get himself a base hit. Old strike on the inside, and he can't believe it at the plate. It's one and two now. All right, let's take a step back right here. He's down one, two, and three fastballs in a row. There is no way he's throwing them before. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. 
Stepping into the box, Julio Valenzuela. He'll look to keep it going three for four so far in the ballgame. In there, a base hit. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. So here now is the pitcher, Josh Guzman. He got called out on strikes his last time through. The pitcher is acting innocent, but I saw it in real time, and my first thought was he did that on purpose. These pitchers can paint the black inside and out, make the ball move up and down. So a lot of times when you see a guy get hit in that spot, there was some kind of message behind it. We'll see what that leads to the rest of this game. Pro on third, Valenzuela over at second. Guzman is over at first with one away. Popped him up. Villanueva over to his right. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Stepping in, Lee Hu. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. A swing here on the fastball, and this will get fouled off to the right side. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Now ball line softly down the right field line, but foul. Set to deliver on nothing in two. Here it comes. Popped up. Rincon is there as he makes the catch, and they'll tightrope out of danger as he strands the bases loaded. So no runs on two hits, no errors, and three men left stranded. Bottom part of the order, seven, eight, and nine, due up in the bottom of inning number nine. The Drillers lead it 14 to three. Mm. You're a play. Digging in the switch hitter, Manuel Rincon. Starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in. The is swung on and driven out to right center field. A ball that's well hit. And it's gone! Solo shot to right center, but they're going to need a few more here as they're still well behind. Wow, that's a tough one. Certainly not the way you want to start your day as a relief pitcher giving up a home run. All right, builder, Into the box, seven. Brian Valdez. Brian Valdez. As he'll go after the first pitch and line one into right field for a base hit. Loud noises right here, fellas. Hey, he's going to have to mix it up a little bit more because they are on his side. Stepping in now, Kyle Lloyd. Hit high in the air down the right field line. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. Valdez isn't stopping. Here he comes to the plate. He comes across to score. And the gap shortens, but still plenty of work to do. All right. Let's yeah, go, Mitchell. You missions. would applaud the effort as he sells out for it, but the smarter move would have been to take a deeper Let's angle and cut the ball off. He does that, and the runner probably doesn't score from first. On the flip side, great piece of hitting right there. Luis Torrens will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 21. Takes this the other way to right. In there, base hit, and that ought to get the run in from third. Hey, Hero, there's a prime example of a little ambush piece, right? Come up there looking to hit right off the get-go. First pitch comes in, whack, base hit. Yeah, you want to know if this guy was ready to go? He had a game plan. Hashtag ambush. Here we go now. This will be a tough throw. Into the box now. Boone Devine skied into straightaway right. Saul giving chase. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. So coming to the plate, Christian Villanueva. Last time through was a base hit. First pitch of the at-bat. 
He goes the other way as this is hit in the air toward the gap in right center. So oh, is over on. to his right as he puts this one away. Two down. So here's the cleanup hitter, Carmen Zapata. Carmen Zapata. Two left. From the stretch. Line hard toward right center. And another base hit. He's four for five in this game. I mean, that fires me up right there. Opposite field knock. And in today's game, where every manager is employing hundreds of shifts to watch this batter go the other way was special. In now, Leroy Ochoa. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. Throw on to second for the force, and the ball game is over. It seemed like everyone had a hand in this win, and that's usually the case when you win a game by eight runs. Feels good to dominate a game like that. 14 to 6 is the way this one ends. Tulsa slugged their way to victory with 15 hits. Josh Guzman is credited with the win. Hank Schneider was hit hard to the tune of seven earned as he takes the loss. So that's it for us this afternoon. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, log on to theshownation.com. And so it was a disappointing loss for the San Antonio Missions. Gotta say, it was hard to see this three-game series go away than what it did. Well, it was most likely a three-game set for Tulsa, but most likely it was a difficult three-game series loss. Hard to say. Felt like the Tulsa Drillers cheated, but that is baseball. They didn't cheat. They had good hitters in there that literally hit the ball. Well, 14 to 6 are final. Tulsa takes the third game, takes the whole series, and literally just takes it away from San Antonio. Well, tomorrow the visiting Midland Rockhounds come in for four. We start a four-game set before our road games with Springfield and Arkansas come. We'll have a three-game set with Springfield and a three-game set with the Arkansas Travelers. Well, this is just about do it for tonight. It was a disappointing night for Mission fans, and most likely this was a devastating loss. Well, this is just about do it for minor league baseball. We hope you all have a good night. I know it was bad, but tomorrow will be another day. Well, the next time we meet Tulsa, we will strike our vengeance against them. We will win. So that will just about do it for minor league baseball the show. Hope everybody has a good night. And we will see y'all again tomorrow for the first game of four game set between the Midland Rockhounds and the San Antonio Missions. Well, everybody, have a good night.